There you go. Look at that. The dollar. The dollar has about 0.31% of its original value. Basically, it's lost about roughly 99% of its value. Where do you connect ease? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. So in this one, I'm going to be talking about why saving in currencies is futile. Uh, in the previous videos, I have talked about how the government spends and prints money and why it devalues currencies. And this one, I'm going to talk about what you can do to protect yourself from it. I'll go into more details. I mentioned uh, a few times that, yeah, you should probably be looking at investing in gold, precious metals, um, silver as well. So this one, I'll be explaining more in depth about why. Um, but before we start, please hit the like button, subscribe as well if you're new, share this video out because I think it is very important that people know about this. So I'm going to be starting with the definition of entropy, which I think is very important for us to understand. Um, it is an engineering term, but I think I'll go maybe a step higher instead of uh, going into the complete details of the engineering side and look at the second definition here. It is a lack of order or predictability. It's a gradual decline into disorder. So think about how uh, if you clean your room after, let's say, two weeks, it ends up being dirty again and you have to clean it again. That is entropy. Uh, entropy is a natural phenomenon in the universe. It is something we deal with. Hair grows, you have to cut it again. It grows again. You have to cut it. It grows again. You have to cut it. That's entropy. Um, so what does that have to do with currencies? I will explain in just a minute. Just let me connect the dots a little bit. Going into a bit of scripture, I'm a Christian, so I do think uh, scripture does play a part into this as well. So from Proverbs 20, 23, it says the Lord hates people who use this on his skills and weights. Um, back in the day, uh, gold and silver were money. So when they say skills and weights, they, they quite literally weighed um, gold. Yeah, I think, I believe it was usually weighed in ounces, grams. So that's what um, this verse is talking about, about skills and weights. Bear with me. The dots will be connected. Leviticus 19, 35 to 36. Do not cheat anyone using, do not cheat anyone by using false measures of length, weight or quantity. Use honest skills, honest weights and honest measures. I am the Lord your God and I brought you out of Egypt. Now, you remember I was talking about how the government keeps printing money, increasing the money supply M2. That is a false measure because the supply is growing much faster than people are earning. It is changing the measure. It is changing the length. It is changing the quantity of money in the system. Now, we're going to take a little trip down memory lane back into history. Um, 1971, Richard Nixon pretty much took the dollar off the gold standard. Um, basically, the, the dollar used to be convertible to gold. I can't remember the exact conversion. I will, as usual, um, put a screenshot up of the conversion. I think it was one ounce of gold was $20, $20 or so. Then they increased it to 35 And then in 1971, um, August 15th, Richard Nixon basically banned the convertibility of um, the US dollar into gold. And this basically led to stagflation. Stagflation basically means um, inflation, we've talked about, but also um, the economy stagnant, it's not growing. So you have high unemployment, high inflation, um, and this was happening while the dollar was devalued. Like I said, the dollar was no longer pegged, no longer tied to gold. So governments could just print as much as they wanted to which they are doing right now. Um, and the third bullet, it says, thanks in large part to the licks and shock, central banks have more control over the nation's money. Remember when I was talking about central banks, the Fed, Bank of England, Bank of Japan, People's Bank of China, um, European Central Bank, they're all, they're all one. They all um, more or less dance in lockstep with each other. Um, they have control over the nation's money and the management of variables such as interest rates, overall money supply, like I mentioned, M2, and money velocity. Money velocity is basically the speed at which money changes hands. So if I pay you um, one pound, one dollar, you then take that dollar and pay uh, someone else or you buy something. That's basically what it's like. Now, with all these definitions and overview taken into account, let me show you exactly why you should not be saving in fiat currency. Now, this is a 45 second video um, 
credit to WinSmart on Twitter. By the way, follow me on X. I often retweet these uh, graphics as I see them, so be sure to follow me there. So I'm just going to let it play. Gold has a store of value. As you can see, gold has kept its value 100% and all these currencies are falling against gold. The yen, the yen is just tragic. But look at that, 1970. I'm just going to pause it here. About 1970, that's when Nixon basically took the dollar of the gold standard. And notice how quickly it drops. I'm going to take it back just a bit. Just a bit. Look at how it's constant. Constant, constant, constant. Bang. 1970 arrives. And they start printing to infinity. Just watch how it drops. Keep going. Gold is stag Gold is still. That's basically gold keeping its value. 100%. Now look at how all the other currencies are dropping. All dropping. All dropping. Watch when 2000, 2008 comes. That's a global financial crisis. But wait for 2020. <laughs> wait for 2020. There you go. Look at that. The dollar. The dollar has about 0.31% of its original value. Basically, it's lost about roughly 99% of its value. I'm just going to let it play again. Um, I believe the pound. Oh man, the pound is tragic. <laughs> the pound is tragic and the yen as well. So if you're saving in currencies, obviously this also goes for the euro. Any any sort of national currency you're holding has lost value automatically because it is not backed by anything. It is not backed by gold. Um, it's literally ink on printed paper. That's it. That's it. It is not a store of value, um, which is why we have inflation. This is why it feels like well, if your earnings aren't keeping up with inflation, it feels like you're sort of falling behind. Um, so yeah, definitely guys, hey, listen, listen, definitely look to invest in gold and silver. Right, I just wanted to add something very quickly here at the end because I realized I forgot to talk about central banks buying gold as well. So as you can see, a picture speaks a thousand words. Uh, Central banks are stocking up on gold. They're stocking, they're stocking up on this thing. Um, China is leading the race, followed by India and Turkey. Every single one of them has endeavored to increase the holdings because they see something coming. They see something coming. They see the death of the dollar. As you can see here, it says China's central bank increased its gold holdings for 17 straight months. They are buying this thing hand over fist. There was something called the gold revaluation account. Guys, oh, this thing goes so deep. It's called a gold revaluation account. And basically central banks have it on their balance sheet. It's like there's a plan to revalue the price of gold, which in a sense also means devalue their currencies. Um, as you can see here in this chart, it's only going up. It's only going up. They're only going to be buying more. It's the annual and cumulative net gold demand from central banks. Long story short, gold's price is going up. Um, it is something that is big in the cake. It is sure, it is certain. Over the long run, its price is going to go up. And the final thing that I will show is Russia also planning to increase its gold purchases by six times, specifically 601% to evade sanctions. Basically, the US government um, seized Russia's treasuries to fund Ukraine. Uh, <laughs> so talk about talk about rubbing salt in a wound, stealing their stealing their money to fund to fund the enemy. Hey, I'm not saying Russia's in the right or wrong. I'm not nor am I saying America is, but all I'm saying is the banks are buying gold, so do be sure to do what they're doing as well. Protect yourself because something big is coming. I'll show you a bit of a bit of how to invest in it. So this is Atkinson's bullion. Um, this is the site I personally use. There are also lot, there are lots of different sites. Um, those in the US, I believe there's one called Miles Franklin. Um, those of us in the UK, you can also buy directly from the Royal Mint. Um, there are different different types of gold coins. Uh, but I think the main ones are the Britannia and the Sovereign. I'll show you the Sovereign in a bit. They come in different uh, weights. So there's the one ounce, that's the most expensive. You have the half, the quarter and the tenth. I think the 10 pounds is probably most affordable for, for quite a lot of people. Um, I'll take you guys through the Sovereign coins. You've got the Sovereign, that's about 478 and the half Sovereign as well. So, um, but the alternative to gold, because gold gold's price is going up very quickly. I think in the last video I mentioned the price was like 1,000, 
950 pounds, probably close to, uh, I'll put the screenshot up, but it's, it's much higher. It's much higher now than it was back then. Um, just like a couple of weeks ago that I made that video. Um, but if, if gold is maybe slightly too expensive, um, silver is a phenomenal option as well. As you can see, it's just 30, 30 pounds for an ounce, an ounce of silver. Um, and the main thing is it is capital gains tax free. You don't pay any tax on the gains you make on gold and silver coins. Um, those of you in America, I believe yours would be uh, gold eagles, silver eagles. Um, Canada, it's maples. The, Kru the Krugerrands, I'm not sure which country it is, but Google it, guys. Google it. Um, there are there are different coins that will be capital gains tax free in your region. Um, and also, I mean, with how we've heard about Kamala wanting to tax on realized gains, um, I believe Starmer wants to increase uh, taxes as well. When you buy this and you sell it, hopefully you don't have to. Um, but if you fall on hard times and you have to sell it, you do not pay any tax on your gains on gold and silver. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a short one, but just a quick one to run you guys through how to protect your savings. Please, please do not save the vast majority of your wealth in fiat currency. It will only go down. It is by design. It is a feature and not a bug. Please save in gold and silver. And then you can look to invest in like stocks and and other things like real estate as well. But first, ensure your savings. Gold and silver act as insurance on your savings. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please hit the like button if you did. Subscribe as well. Um, share this video with people you believe will need to know this. And those of you who might be teens, do tell your parents about it. Um, they do need to know as well because not a lot of people know this. This isn't taught in schools. Um, this isn't taught in your economics class. <laughs> Basically, um, precious metals are more or less demonized by the financial system because they want people to buy treasuries um that's how they print the money by the way so i hope you enjoyed this um i will be back with some more in the future please hit the like button like i said subscribe as well and i'll see you there peace